Disclosure. I received a free review copy of this product from Keymailer.co and developer Wishfully, alongside publisher Funderful Publishing. A special thank you to Keymailer, developer Wishfully, and publisher Funderful Publishing for this free review copy. Now on to the video proper. Hey! Hi! How you doing? This is Ryan, and welcome back to the Gamertron Show. Tell me, have you ever played a video game where as soon as you boot it up to the main menu, you knew you were playing something special? Well, when I booted up Planet of Lana for the first time and got to the main menu, I knew instantly I was playing something special. And then, when I checked the settings menu and saw that the lowest graphical setting is called Potato, I knew even doubly so that I was playing something special. I'm not gonna waste your time, let's just get straight to it. Set on an alien world, Planet of Lana tells the story of, well, Lana and her loyal animal companion, Mui as they embark on a rescue mission to save her sister, blending an epic story that takes you on a spectacular journey across stunning natural landscapes with a touching personal relationship built between protagonists Lana and Mui. Planet of Lana is a game filled with wonder and adventure. Going off script here for a second, it really truly is. That's a very accurate description. Ahem. Expect to encounter strange creatures and dangerous machines as you move through lush forests, mysterious caves, and arid desert landscapes during your journey. Throughout daring platforming, engaging puzzles, and tense stealth sequences, players will discover a game built around the unique companion mechanic that connects Lana and Mui. Only by working in tandem can you solve the puzzles and avoid the dangers that lay ahead of you. From stalking, spindle-legged robot menaces that have mysteriously landed on Lana's planet, to the not-always-friendly fauna that populates Planet of Lana's breathtaking environments, and they really, truly are breathtaking. Now, as always, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to give it to you all straight and from the heart. I absolutely adore Planet of Lana. This was a truly wonderful experience and is easily a Game of the Year 2023 contender. If this game, at the bare minimum, doesn't get officially nominated in any category at the Game Awards, that would truly be an outrage. Planet of Lana is a video game I would define as a perfect representation of why video games are art. Why they're high art, even. Planet of Lana as a piece of art is a triumph. As a product, it is worth every penny of its purchase price. Honestly, I legitimately feel bad that I didn't pay any money for this game and that I got it for free. As soon as I can afford it, I'm gonna buy this game for a friend or something. Because one, the developers over at Wishfully deserve all the success in the world, and two, Everyone in the world should honestly play Planet of Lana. While the game certainly tailors to puzzle platforming enthusiasts, individuals who are fans of games like Limbo, Inside, Little Nightmares, etc., the game is practically tailor-made for fans of those games. But regardless, even so, I would still argue nonetheless that Planet of Lana is so accessible that almost everyone can appreciate, enjoy, and find some emotional resonance with Planet of Lana. I honestly believe that Planet of Lana is a great game for non-gamers, casual gamers, and hardcore gamers. This is a great game to get people into video games. It's a great game for children, teenagers, and young adults. Even more elderly gaming enthusiasts, I wholeheartedly believe, would enjoy this experience. To hell with it, I'll go all the way and say that Planet of Lana is an instant classic. Practically a masterpiece, even. I truly love this game and can't recommend it enough. Honestly, a must-play title in 2023. Please, do not skip this. Do not miss this. There's so much more I want to tell you about Planet of Lana. I want to praise and showcase all of the brilliant set pieces, the clever, engaging puzzles, the breathtaking music, my god. God, the soundtrack to Planet of Lana. It enhances and amplifies the experience tenfold. It's all just so good, so masterfully crafted and put together. 
Ah, oh, man. Still not sold yet? Well, let me present the game to you in a different context then. Looking at Planet of Lana's story, its art style and overall presentation, it's no secret that the game is obviously inspired by several of the animated classics, namely the Studio Ghibli films, alongside some of the best works from Disney and Pixar. The developers over at Wishfully have a clear, deep understanding about what makes those classic stories so good, why they emotionally resonate with people. Wishfully have been able to learn from and then replicate that craftsmanship. One could criticize Planet of Lana for being cliched and tropey, but cliches and tropes are not inherently wrong or bad, or something to be avoided at all costs. It's all about execution. And developer Wishfully executes with flying colors all of the key elements in storytelling to get the reader, the viewer, the player, the consumer, emotionally invested in the story you're telling. It may be a story as old as time, but the telling of that story, the presentation, has heart. It's genuine. There's obvious passion on display. There's a care and a wholesomeness to it. There's a purity, a hopeful optimism that's infectious. I personally struggle to see how one could not relate or be emotionally moved while playing Planet of Lana. But all of that mostly concerns the story, the art style, the presentation, the set pieces, and the music. When it comes to the gameplay, Planet of Lana is just a nice feeling 2D puzzle platformer puzzle adventure game to play. The platforming is solid, nothing insultingly easy or lazy, but nothing too challenging, requiring pinpoint accuracy and movement. And the puzzles are just wonderful, truly wonderful. So fun and satisfying to solve. Nothing too challenging and ridiculously complex that I needed to look up a guide, and nothing too easy where I felt my intellect wasn't being engaged. Tie that all together with just perfect pacing, truly perfect pacing. The game knows when to ramp things up and introduce a set piece or a stealth encounter, where and when to place the puzzles and space them out. There's never a dull moment. You are always being engaged on some level, whether it's admiring a beautiful visual, doing some light platforming, light puzzle solving before getting to more complex and challenging encounters later on. And the game is keeping things constantly varied and interesting by introducing new mechanics and new obstacles every single level. Level. Planet of Lana is one of those special video games, an instant classic, one that I imagine most people who play it will have only fond memories of. It's a game that, like I said earlier in the video, I truly believe people of all ages can play and appreciate. Planet of Lana is easily one of the best games released in 2023. It is a game of the year 2023 contender. I can't recommend Planet of Lana enough. I guess all that's left to say is Planet of Lana is available on PC, Xbox, as well as Game Pass for both platforms. Anyways, that's been a video. Thank you for watching. If you did indeed like the video in any way, shape, or form, please be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment in the comment section down below. If you want to help out and support the video, then please share it on social media, Twitter, Reddit, and Facebook. And if you want to help out and support me directly, please consider making a donation via the Super Thanks feature here on YouTube or by clicking on the links to my Buy Me A Coffee or Ko-Fi pages. Links are in the description down below. You can make a donation that way. Anyways, once again, that's been a video. Thank you for watching. Watching, and I'll see you all later.